Sadaka is someone who who never reacts in the personal place. You know, you you listen to something. I know sometimes somebody go, I need to talk to you about that. You know, when you're and already something is coming up, but you have to learn to put it aside and, and just hear what is being said. I had to learn that my, myself also sometimes when someone you know sees something <clears throat> and notice that you know maybe you're supposed to be doing a job and you were late on it, and of course something inside doesn't want to hear that. You know, doesn't want to. You know, it's like this. And if I spoke about it in some today, do you know, you remember that I was talking generally to people that the reason what's what is the reason why some people, uh, when I speak about uh, the truth, when I see very clearly, and I don't talk to them about it because they don't have a door open, mm. because they're so invested in their personal identity that something, even without them saying it, is blocking it. Even though they say, please tell me, but energetically, their, their guard is up. Sometimes people say, you know, if you see something, please, please, could you tell me? And, and if you, you know, could, could you, you know, smash me or something if I see? But then I look at them and I see that they're telling me like that, and they're like this, you know, Muji, you know, if you see me hiding, could you, you know, just could you kind of pull me out, right? Anytime you see me, but they're like hiding already. And I said, but I, that's just hard work for me, I can't. You know, when I go to speak like that, then my tongue is heavy, like, I can't do it because your energy blocks. And yet another person, you can tell them, no, 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 don't do the word of that, just leave that alone and just go there. And they just they're straight in, because they don't let their person block them. Sometimes the person blocks you and you grow very, very slowly because you're protecting your person. So I, call, I don't call that what I call like a sadaka is someone at a certain stage when they are aware that they are awareness, but sometimes the mind comes in and they can understand that they are working hard for their freedom. So they don't let, they are not reacting from a personal place. And so this thing is very, very vital. If I would, if I would put um, a pointer about satsang about this, when people say, why is it so difficult? So I said, no, you consciously or unconsciously, are still protecting yourself as a person. So the truth can't come in. It, 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 it's blocked. You may not be aware of that, <clears throat> but I'm making you aware of it. You know, why can I speak to someone and it just go it just goes in another one, I can't even the words can't even leave me. They can't even come out because there's so much uh, there. And I want to ask this person, are you aware of this? I want to ask them, are you aware of this? Because if you're not aware of it, then I'm really worried about you. Because it means that you know, y your functions are not working. It's like you're in a car, you've got the keys, you've got everything, you've got the things, but it won't start because your power, there's no power. So it has to be that there's someone, for me, a, a matured seeker, meaning the one who, can, who is about to, to, to flower or to burst into a butterfly. No, is one who is completely not going to let anything, especially their ego, is not going to stand in the way. They're just so open, and they're really genuinely open. And that is the only, uh, what I would say, uh, impediment, one of the major impediments to the realization of the Self, that uh, there is still a loyalty to the identity. And you may think you are not, but you know, like someone who is aware, they know that there is still energy is blocking you. And they want to know, and I want to know, are you aware of this? Because if you're aware of it, at least you're, you're a bit more, you're at a better place. But if you're not aware of it, then you're, you're at a very poor place. And, and this is all uh, I want to say to everybody about this. Because many people are asking questions, if they trust me, then uh, you know, I tell them, listen, you know what? You don't want to be asking this question. This is not the question for you right now. You understand? You need the emergency ward. 
You're going to the drugstore. You need to be in the emergency ward. You can't go into, you know, you can't go into the, into the drugstore and ask for, you know, can I have some anodine? Hmm? When, you know, your whole system is on failure. You can't do You need to ask another question. You see? So this type of thing, you know, you have to trust that, uh, you know, what your master is telling you or something is more true than your, what your mind is telling you. But sometimes you believe more what your mind is telling you. The master is telling you, no, no, you don't listen to that guy. That guy is getting you ready to go into another belly for another round of delusion. You don't want to listen. You're listening all your life. You see? So I would put that as the most significant thing when people are finding out, you know, what, what, what stops me. So you're, 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 you're not just the ego by itself, but you're identifying with it. And uh, when you identify with it, you feel very vulnerable, you feel like you don't want to be exposed, you feel shame, you feel resistance. These are all signs that the ego is uh, somehow uh, alive and he doesn't want you to get it. You know, it's like a spirit doesn't want you to get, doesn't want you to be free. Because if you're free, then he doesn't have a future with you. <laughs>